Hello Bitsbury, this is Craig from Bitsbox.co.uk here with another little conversion video for you. So in this one I'm going to make a couple of Vampire Lords for my Soulblight Grave Lords. And I'm going to be using some spare bits from the Mortark kits. Because, um, um, yeah, if you can build three different Mortarks in that kit and you're going to be left over with some spares. And I thought, well, I'll show you how to use some spares to make your own Vampire Lords. So, yeah, I'll be using the spare bits from Manfred and from Neferata and give them sort of on-foot versions, or they can be like unique um, vampire lords. So yeah, um, pretty simple, but I thought I'd show you anyway. So yeah, let's just hit the desk and get straight into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with these legs from the Dark Elf Sorceress, and this will be for the um, Neferata pieces. So yeah, it's just the um, legs are just glued to a 25mm base, and I've got Neferata's body here. Now you can see there's like a knife on the back of these legs um, so we need to trim a bit of the back of the torso down. I actually end up trimming the front later as well just because it sort of stuck out a little bit and I'm going to cover that up towards the end. Um, but yeah for now just taking the back off and that will glue on there like so. So always try and dry fit first before you um, stick your glue down so that goes without saying. And I apologise that the autofocus is playing up again, um, I'm going to have to play around with that before my next video, maybe just stick it on manual. And yeah, it just sticks on there like so, and once that's dry we can work on the arm. So I'm being a little bit lazy and just taking Neferata's arms here, and we could always switch out the weapons if you so wish, or even use completely different arms, it's entirely up to you. But what you need to do, if you are using these ones, is trim these bits of the robes down. Um, because they will hang a lot lower than the base, which would be a bit strange. So I'll just trim off the bottoms. And that gives us two nice arms to work with. And yeah, I tried to sort of dry fit it here, um, very fiddly. And um, I just want to show you guys what it would look like. Uh, so yeah, I do find these sort of vampire bits quite fiddly, but yeah, this is what it would look like. And I sort of realise here that the bottom of the spear also needs to be trimmed off as well. So just that bit right at the bottom. And then when they're glued on, you get something that looks like this. Just pretty cool already. Um, so now we're going to cover up the front bit. I'm going to take the tabard here, just also from the Dark Elf Sorceress. Now I did try some other things. I tried taking some of her robes um, from the Neferata's legs, but they were just sort of too flat really and um, everything I tried just didn't look right so I didn't really want to use this piece but in the end I went with it and you can see like the top of the torso overhangs a little bit but I'll be trimming that down and then putting something over to cover that bit up um, but before that though let's um, give her a head so you could oh um, before that sorry I did find this collar getting ahead of myself no, um, pun intended um, I don't know what this collar's from though, um, I just had it lying around in my spare pieces, um, so if you do know what it's from then definitely um, let us know in the comments, but it goes on beautifully and yeah, um, if you've got some sort of collar lying around, I think it works really well. Okay so now we go on to our head, and I've taken this one from the Mortis Engine kit, and um, you could just use Neferata's head of course. But I want to try something different, and I absolutely love this head. Um, I won't be using it on my own um, Mortis Engine, Coven Throne, or whatever um, I decide to use from that set. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. I really like it, so I had to use it. And yeah, just lastly, um, I just took a little bit of her robes from her legs and just cut them up and just stuck them over the front of her tabard here, just add another layer there, and it just makes it look a bit more f flush. And yeah, that's that's it for her. So on to Manfred, and I've got these legs. So these are from the um, Cottus of the Abyss from Blackstone Fortress, and I've nicked the legs off this guy, and trimmed down the top, yeah, Cottus of the Abyss look, <laughs> and have, um, yeah, trimmed off the top piece, just so you've got the legs left, and I've glued Manfred's front and back together, and they actually fit on really well. Um, I was pleasantly surprised, but um, I just want to show you a dry fit here. Like, even like the sort of angle of them and that, they just work really well. 
So I don't think I've even done any gap filling here. I literally just glued them straight onto the legs. So I was really surprised with that. But it might just be a bit of a fluke on how I cut down the legs. I don't know. But it went on really good. So really happy with that. So moving on, I'm going to take the arm for that guy, his left arm. Same guy from the Colors of the Abyss set. And I'm just chopping off the sprue here. Um, so that's like holding a big flamer type thing, so cut off the flamer and just take the arm. And that arm's going to be holding the shield, as you can see on the desk. So I think this one's from the Zombie Dragon kit. And that does have a hand attached to it. Um, so we need to take off the wrist piece, leave the actual hand attached to the shield, because um, there isn't a hand on the arm that I've used. So I'll just chop off the wrist piece. I mean, you could always cut down the arm and keep the wrist, but I want to do it this way. And then that will stick on there like so. And, yeah, once I'm sort of happy with that, I'll stick it on. And I'll just quickly show you sort of dry fit in it. Uh, that will go on there. <laughs> and I think I cut out too quick. But anyway, here it is all glued on and looking pretty cool. And I've sort of had it back a little bit to sort of go with the stride and the forward motion that he's got. And then I'm also going to take a head from the Zombie Dragon kit as well. I could have gone with Manfred's head. Um, this one's very similar, but I quite liked just how it's sort of got that yelling... Um, I was going to say pose, but um, he, he's yelling. And, you know, he's going forward, yelling out orders, or charge, or whatever. Um, you know, I just quite like it. Which makes it look a little bit more dynamic, I suppose. And that fits on pretty easily. I just sort of get it in position that I want. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so you could probably leave it there, but um, you can sort out his back. So I'm going to add a cape here. I also point out there's a little bit of green stuff there, just where I build in for the arm, because um, it is a flat connection on the arm to a ball joint um, on the um, on the torso. Um, here I'm just filing down some bits of the cape. So this cape is just from Manfred as well. And I did cut cut it down a little bit, as I'm going to demonstrate here. Um, I'm sorry if it goes a little bit out of shot. There we go. Yeah, just taking off where the spirit hosts are sort of coming out of the back. You could, I mean, you could add some spirit host heads to it and really just have this flamboyant cape. But I wanted to just trim it down because it's quite large anyway. Even after trimmed down, it's going to look quite large on him. But it's quite it's quite cool. I quite like it. So yeah, I just trim it down. Like so. Have lots of difficulty with this for no apparent reason. There should be no reason really. Um, yeah, I don't know why I've left this bit in, just so you can watch me struggle, I suppose. Um, yeah, now I just sort of just neaten it up a little bit in some certain areas. And just gradually cut away, get rid of all the little spirit hoach piece, pieces. And that will just leave me with a nice cloak like that, which is pretty cool. And that fits on really easily. And here they are, starting with the um, Neferata. Um, really cool. So yeah, I'm sort of made just a female Vampire Lord here. Now of course she's only on the 25mm base, and I think the actual Vampire Lord model they've just come out with is on a 40mm, so that's a bit annoying. Um, I may put her on quite an imposing scenic base or something in the future but yeah I'm really happy with this one I really like how she's turned out on to Manfred now and yeah again really like this one um with the flowing cape and him sort of striding forward I think having some sort of walking legs like this are ideal I think if you're sort of standing still um he might not look as good so I, I really like that I've got him sort of striding forward and again I might change up his base as well put him on a 40 mil um, but yeah, that's how you can easily take them spare bits, if you have them, and turn them into vampires on foot. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, please do give it a thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Um, I do lots of conversion videos, I take requests, and I will be working through some more very soon. So all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching, I'll see you all again in the next video. 
If you enjoyed this video then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.